Hi guys. Today we will advertise our room temperature over Bluetooth low energy or BLE. We will use thermistor to read our room temperature and we will use NRF 24L01 RF module as a BLE module to advertise our room temperature over BLE. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. This video is sponsored by PCBGoGo.com. Just go to PCBGoGo.com and order your high quality professional PCBs. To order the PCBs, just put your PCB size here. Like I will use 100 into 100 size. Then choose the number of PCBs as I will choose 10 PCBs. Then select the layers and thickness of PCBs as I am fine with 2 layers and 1.6 mm thickness. Then click on quote now. Now in this page select your country and shipping type. So for me I will just put India as my country. Then shipping type as DHL is fine for me. Now here if you want to change your PCB specification like bolt type, layers, thickness, hole size, solder mask. Please select according to your requirements such as I will change the color of solder mask for me. Then after all this click on add to basket. Now here we need to add our Gerber files so select your Gerber files and upload it. After this your order will be created and it will go for a review. Then wait for some time and come back after some time. After some time you will see that the status of your order is now as pass payment. Then select the order and click on the proceed checkout. Now here add your shipping address and after that select your payment method and proceed with payment by clicking pay now. And after successful payment you are done and you will receive your PCBs in just few days. So guys today we will transmit our room temperature over BLE and for that we will require few things. So you need to get any Arduino or any other equivalent board and then you need a thermistor to read the temperature data. Here I am using a 10k thermistor with code 103. So for that I'll need a 10k resistor as well. So say if you are using a 100k thermistor then go for a 100k resistor. Any thermistor over 10K will be fine and 10K value thermistor will be ideal. Then we need a NRF 24L01 RF module which we will use as a BLE module. Then last but not the least we will need some jumpers and breadboard as well. And if you don't have all these stuff please find all the buying links in video description. So before we start make sure you watched my previous video on how to use NRF 24L01 as a BLE module. So that you could be able to understand how we will send the data with NRF 24L01 to our smartphone over BLE. And then please make sure you watch my thermistor tutorial as well. So that you can get the idea that how we can read the temperature data with thermistor. So the basic idea behind this project is that we will read our room temperature with the help of thermistor. And then we will send this data to our smartphone using NRF module over BLE. So I assume that you have watched both of my videos and got some idea about it. So let's start with the connections. So the connection part of this project is very straightforward. Please find the schematics on the screen and connect everything according to the shown schematics. Now let's go to our PC and I'll explain the code to you. So you can download this code from the description below. Very first here in code these are the required libraries so make sure you have downloaded it. 
Then here I created radio variable for NRF with its CE and CSN pin as 9 and 10. Now we created a BTLE instance for the radio variable that we created in a bubbline. Then in setup we started a serial communication. Then a delay of 1 seconds. Then we printed some messages on serial monitor for troubleshooting the code. Then we started our BLE device with this command and it will be named as nrftmp. Then we printed another message on serial monitor. Here we created our int i variable and here in loop we are reading all our analog thermistor value from pin a0 into integer variable i. Then we created a temp variable of type float. And we are calling our thermistor method with i value. And we typecasted it into float as well. So this is our thermistor method which takes integer analog thermistor data. And it converts it into the degree celsius and returns the temperature data celsius in a double format. That's why we typecasted it into the float. So thermistor method takes raw thermistor data and returns temperature values in celsius in double format. Then here we created a buff variable of type nrf service data. And then we set the service uuid type of buff variable to nrf temperature service uuid. And then we set the value variable of buff to our temp variable which contains temperature data. But we are converting it to the nrf float value first. Because value variable of buff will take only nrf type of float data. And here we are advertising our data with this command. And if this fails, it will print a message on serial monitor. That BLE advertisement failed. Then we added this command to hop it to the next channel followed by a 2 second delay here. So now let's upload this code to our Arduino board. So we uploaded the code. Now let's open the serial monitor. So as we can see that our BLE device started. And thermistor is also reading the temperature properly. So let's open the NRF connect for mobile app and refresh the scanner section in the app. And here we can see our NRF TMP BLE device. And in temperature section we can see our room temperature as well. So this is how we can read our room temperature and transmit it over BLE with NRF module to our smartphone. So guys, I hope you like this video. If you do, hit like, give me a share and don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in another video of mine. Till then, keep exploring.